Jupyter Notebooks. These are wonderful tools for combining text, text that is formatted, that involves tables, that involves uh, equations with code and the output of that code in a way that's shareable and can be used for both development purposes and for presentation purposes. So let's get started into how we can use these, these tools. So first of all, uh, we're going to boot this up from the command line, so bring up a terminal. Um, you know, you can certainly use Commander on, on Windows or wh whatever it is that you're, that you're using. And uh, let's go ahead and navigate to the directory that uh, we want to start in. So I want to start these in my Documents folder in a, uh, in a folder here I called Projects. Uh, this is just where your notebooks are going to be stored. Um, and within um, Projects... Uh, we're going to go into demo for this particular demo here and you'll see this is an empty folder and this is where we're going to get started. So let's go ahead and start that up with the command Jupyter Notebooks, Notebook, uh, singular. And so when you hit that, what's going to happen is your web browser is going to open and it's going to bring you to this page that shows your Jupyter environment. Now, right now it says our notebook list is empty. Well, we can easily remedy that situation by creating a new Python 3 notebook. Um, as you can see, you could have created text files or other things there as well. And this is, you know, this is the primary interface that you'll be working with here. So uh, we'll talk about these in a number of parts. I mean, you have menu items here, convenient buttons, shortcut keys. But first, let's give this a name. We're going to call this our uh, demo notebook. Um, and so now that's been renamed, and that's what the file is going to be called with the IPython extension to it. So we can go ahead here and start uh, entering text. So let's say we wanted to title this, you know, Example Jupyter Notebook. Um, you know, one thing, you look at this here, it has this little symbol on the side. What that means is this is a code cell, and we know it's a code cell because it's listed here as well as being a code cell. So we can change this instead to a markdown cell. Markdown is the language that we're going to use to, uh, you know, to write, write our actual text, uh, our non-code uh, components of this. So you click that, that the little icon uh, went away there, and you have this example of Jupyter Notebook. So I could go here to cell and run cell, and now it is formatted in normal text. Well, that's, that's nice, but let's say I want to edit this and make this a little bit a little bit better here. So I can double click as I just did. And if I add a pound sign, that adds a indicates to Markdown this is a heading that I want there. Now, if I, I could create other headings of smaller sizes, you know, heading two, um, heading three, and each of those would be slightly smaller. Uh, but, you know, I don't, I don't want that. I just want the single heading. And, you know, I can start putting my text in here. So this is a Jupyter notebook. Wonderful. Um, and, you know, this block is what's known as a cell. And so that's why I was clicking cell. It's there. So I can fill this with as much text as I'd like. Um, you know, I can fill this with text and um, in markdown format um, as well as LaTeX equations. For those of you who haven't used LaTeX before, LaTeX is a, uh, a system for interpreting uh, plain text into a format for an equation. So we'll go through an example of that as well. So there are a lot of interesting things I can do with this though. I can make a list. So if I want to make um, you know, my awesome list, uh, and what's going to be awesome on here? Well, uh, let's see, I have apples oranges and chocolate. Wonderful. And if I run that, now I can hit run here or cell run, but a shortcut key is shift and then return. If I, if I go ahead here and hit shift and return, it renders that. And you can see here nicely, I have this list of of three items here that looks good to go. Now I could create another unordered list 
And what does that mean? It's bull a bulleted list. So I just put a dash here and then put uh, item one, item two, and item three. Voila, I have that. That's good to go. Wonderful. Um, you know, I can also uh, put equations in. Equations in like this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to indicate to uh, the Jupyter Notebook that I'm about to write an equation, and I do that by putting a dollar sign in here. Now I could put a function in. I could I could you know write in LaTeX, um, and so if I do f of x equals let's say I want to say the you know the sum uh, from i equals one to n. Um, of you know alpha you know, a variable alpha i times x squared and I run that that gives me a nice nice notation right there the summation of a of a coefficient times some some value oh I want to edit that well maybe I wanted it actually to be alpha sub i squared well there we go well now that's that's working just fine. So, so I, have, I have equations, that's exciting. And now what if I also want um, you know, a, a table to add here? Well, I can, I can do that too. Um, you know, I can go ahead here and maybe I want to, I can even combine you know, uh, some of the, the latex stuff here, x sub i in my table. So these, these bars uh, indicate the edges of the cells in the table essentially. So if I have x i and um, z sub i, I have that there. Now I can create, I want those to be my headings, so I'm going to go ahead and um, basically fill this in uh, with this line, which is going to put a line and make the stuff above it a heading. So I can I then go ahead and, and just create some data here. So let's say I want to have you know the value 0, my x value is going to be 0, uh, 1, and uh, two, there we go. And my y values are going to be 0 0.3. Uh, and you can see it doesn't have to necessarily line up perfectly. This will still work. 0 0.45 um, and 23.4. Okay. And I go ahead and I run that. And now I have a table there. And so that is absolutely good to go. Um, so, uh, you know, with that, uh, you probably well, not quite good to go. I have to correct. What did I do here? I forgot to create, put my dollar sign at the end of this equation. So I go ahead there and, um, I have now created X I's and Z I's corresponding to, uh, you know, to entries in this table. So, you know, nicely formatted table ready to go there, but Jupyter notebooks are not just about uh, about text. In fact, that's <laughs> that that defeats the purpose in, in a lot of respects. Here, there's the full access to the IPython uh, shell here, and you can see that in this code cell. Once again, it's code because you can see it labeled here, and you can see here that that it's it's ready to accept some input. So if I just you know went here and started doing some stuff and said x equals three. Um, y equals four, and you know print x times y, and I run this again. I could run it here or shift return, which I'll use here. Voila! I have twelve, um, and I've just run code in this same environment. Now I can I can do even more stuff. Maybe I want to you know make a plot. Okay, well I can do that first. You know I'm going to import some. Some packages, so import NumPy as MP, and we'll talk more about this at different points in in, uh, in the course. But uh, you know, import NumPy as MP, import uh, matplotlib dot pyplot uh, as PLT. So NumPy is going to be my computational engine, and matplotlib, the pyplot package, is going to be my plotting package. And so I can go ahead here and make, generate some random data. Maybe let's see, np.random.randn. Um, 
and let's make 100 values, and then I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and make another random 100 y value. So the rand n function here is gonna generate normally distributed random numbers, and I can go ahead and plot uh, a scatter uh, plot of, um, of this by doing x and y, and let's say I want the color of the scatter plot to be blue, uh, I want the dots to be blue, and I want the size of those dots to be seven. Wonderful. Um, and I can show this uh, by using this plt.show command, run this, um, and here we go, we have a plot. Now, one of the things that's immediately relevant here, is, and this is uh, certainly a, a pet peeve of mine, every plot should have axes labels, no matter what. So let's go back here, edit this, and add in some axes labels. So plt.xlabel, um, you know, feature, feature one, and uh, oh, uh, plt.ylabel, go here for feature two. And if we run this again, uh, now we have some, some X and Y labels there. Um, and this is all good. So you can see, you can, you can um, here print to the screen, um, or you can, you can show your plot directly in, your, in, in, the, uh, in, in the Jupyter Notebook, and you're nicely intermingling text and code into, uh, you know, into one environment here. Now, there are a lot of other things that, uh, that you can do here. Let's say you wanted to move this around. Well, you can move, you know, you wanted this cell before this cell. Okay, we'll hit the up button after selecting it. There you go. You can select multiple cells by clicking here and then however many you want, and then you can move those up and down if you wanted to do so there, although I don't want it like that. <laughs> so we've got that going on there. And uh, you know you can copy and paste cells. Let's say, okay, well, I want to make another plot like this. Well, okay, I can go ahead here, uh, come to uh, copy, and then you know, let's go down here and paste it. And there we go, I have another one of those cells ready to go here. A lot of useful commands here, of course, saving. This is, this is helpful to do. Um, you can also use the plus sign to create a new cell below your currently selected cell. Um, and you have your all of your key, uh, you know keyboard commands that you could possibly imagine listed here with this keyboard uh, you know keyboard indicator, um, and you have all of these options up here to you know create a, a, a new notebook. Uh, you, if you want to make a copy or rename it, you know everything is as as mentioned here. You know in the edit command there are some uh, there are some helpful. Uh, tools here, splitting cells. So if I was, you know, let's say I, I was here in my, my notebook and I wanted to split this cell here, I could just put my cursor where I want it, split, edit, split cell, and it splits it there. You know, similar tools for merging cells, etc. cetera. Um, if th something gets stuck, you have this kernel command that allows you to, uh, you know, interrupt something that's running and, and uh, you know, stop uh, stop that process from running. That can help you get out of an infinite loop if you were to get uh, stuck in there. And if you, sometimes you need to restart the kernel or uh, clear some of the output, and you can do all that through this as well. And if you need any additional help with these pieces, you can see that there are, uh, you know, links to helpful tools on everything from Markdown to Python and IPython, all linked to right from here. Um, one other thing that you you can do here, which can be a very useful tool. If you go over here, you can create a new terminal. So this gives you access to a full full terminal um, in the, the directory that you started your Jupyter Notebook in. So if I do an ls here, list what's in here, I see my, my notebook, I can, you know, I can make a directory here, make der my directory, um, and you can see that a directory has been created. All of my typical command line tools I have access to here, um, I can even start up IPython, IPython, um, and wonderful. Now I have an IPython terminal, x equals six, y equals eight, um, you know, x times y, 48. I have, I have access to all these things. If I want to import NumPy as MP, um, 
and np dot array of one two three four five. I have act, I can import all of my my packages that I need. Do everything that I was doing right here on this command line, all within the Jupyter environment. So, you know, hopefully this gives you a, a sense of the, the the power of of the tools that are present in the Jupyter environment, and helps you to get started on on your exploration of this extremely uh, useful tool for coding.